hello for everyone welcome back to my channel um so um i haven't been cooking for a while um i don't know i just uh stopped cooking but i get mails like um Faye, i love your channel i love your mukbangs but i love your cooking more you know when are you gonna start cooking again you know that you know you guys enjoy watching it so I get a lot of those kind of texts and I think rude I love doing my mukbangs but guys yeah I, I, I get it but anyway I'm here now to start back my cooking and I do have two channels guys one is Faye Cooks mm -mm. and I have uh, quite a lot of cooking in favorites but then I thought it's a confusion like cooking mukbang vlogs so i thought do a channel just for my cooking yeah but it's not as easy as you think you know well it's not as easy as i thought now that i'm talking to you guys i'm thinking it should have made me a coffee before i start this anyway guys here's the ingredients i'm going to be making an easy cabbage stir fry with chicken okay but here's the ingredients so here are the ingredients. You're gonna need oyster sauce, teriyaki sauce, garlic, crushed garlic. <laughs> okay, let me do it again. Oyster sauce, teriyaki sauce, minced garlic, corn flour, chicken powder, corn of the cabbage, already chopped up chicken pieces, and these um, little soy sauce at the sushi burgers. Yeah, I'm just going to add that in, guys. But here's your ingredients. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I'm going to be adding in a bit of pepper as well. Okay, guys, I'm glad you're back. So I'm going to be chopping up the cabbage. What I'm going to do with the cabbage, right, I'm going to chop it up. And in the boiled water, I'm going to blanch it for a little bit. And then I'm going to put it aside. And then I'm going to cook the chicken. But let me chop the, the cabbage first. How you been? You guys miss me? Uh, yeah, I miss you guys too. So I've got this big bowl in the sink. And I'm just going to chop it up and then put it in there. Look how chunky it is. But you know how it is, say eh? When you cook it, it sort of shrinks down a bit. I mean, it is a stir-fried cabbage, so it'll be nice to, you know, get your fork and, you know, you can grab the cabbage and not look for the cabbage, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is all I'm going to be using because I don't have a whole lot of chicken. It's just... This amount, pound, pound. Yeah, but anyway, at the meantime, I'll just split up my cabbage, you know, so it's not chunky chunk. Anyway, what have you guys been up to? Tell me. Yeah, well, see, my husband asked me, he goes, Tony, can you do some more cooking? There's some girls that I work with, they say that they like your cooking and stuff. And I go, oh, that's so nice, you know. And then, um, you know, some people mail me and they say that they cook now because, you know, people used to criticize their cooking. But, you know, since learning of some of my cookings, you know, that they um, now get asked to to make stuff and bring it. So that's, that's lovely. That's a compliment to me. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, what am I talking about? It's not just me. That person done the cooking. I'm just showing you guys. Uh huh. Anyway, I'm gonna wash this chicken because it needs to be washed, washed nicely, guys. So I've done the cabbage. Pow pow. So I'll put that there. Then I'm gonna wash 
the um, chicken. Okay, I shall be back. I shall be back, guys. I shall be back. So I've thoroughly washed my chicken, guys, and <laughs> I'm just going to let it drip. And I've got my hot water on, okay? So I'm going to um, put in the cabbage and then um, blanch it for a little, you know, like probably two minutes and then put it in, fish it out and then just put it aside while I cook um, the chicken. Okay guys, if I get burnt, right, please ring 911. Okay, uh -huh. Why do you want to blanch this so you don't have to, you know, go through the, the waiting around when the chicken is cooked and that? You just toss it in and it's done. Yeah, so I let that blanch for a little bit, okay? And then I'll whisk it out. This is an onyangi. In the Samoan language, it's onyangi. Okay, guys? So, <laughs> I, know you, I know you all know how to chop an onyangi, but... I swear my house is not soundproof. You can hear the birds outside, the cats having fights, and even vroom vroom vrooming past my house. I think it's blanched enough, guys. You do this accordingly to the way you like your cabbage. If you don't like it too cooked, you take it out earlier. But if you like it a bit soft like me, leave it in a bit longer, okay? Yeah. I'll leave it a little bit longer. Probably another minute and then I'll take it out. So anyway, that's done. The onion's already been chopped up. And... I want to show you guys something. You know when you order sushis and they give you a whole lot of these little soy sauce fishy things? Well, I saved them because, you know, in your cooking you can squeeze, you know, like two or three in your cooking. Instead of taking it and throwing it in a bin or something, you can use these. Okay, I'll take these out now. Mm hmm This is much easier, guys, you know. Um, excuse you, little baby fly. So now I'm putting in the chicken and have it ready to... I've just got to cook it down till like it's almost cooked, okay? And then when it's cooked, then you can start um, frying it up and adding in your cabbage. See, this is why it's good to blanch it for a while. Then you can just toss it and then it's done. So I have all my stuff ready. I'm going to be needing um, two teaspoons of garlic or this onion. But you put in the onion first. Anyway, guys, before the chicken is cooked, I'm going to... Um, show you guys something. You know how you see some cooking and you see people just adding a bit, adding a bit there, adding a bit there, adding a bit there. I always like to like mix my sauce, you know, beforehand because then it evenly distributes all the flavor. Mm -hmm. So, this is a heap of garlic. I love garlic. You can't go wrong with garlic, guys. 
maybe you don't kiss anyone after, but, you know, it's A-OK. -okay. And then you put in some oyster. I would say I'll put in three tablespoon of oyster. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the teriyaki, I just want to put in about two tablespoons. One, two. Buckle my shoe. You know, it's the, you know, like the island way. Not many, um, not many cooks um, like to measure, guys. So that's a teaspoon, okay? Because the other sauces have a bit of salt in it as well. And then I'm going to put um, two teaspoons of corn flour. One... Two. So that will, you know, like make a sauce for your stir fry touch. And all these soy sauce guys, add it in. Add it in. Mm -hmm. It's all part of the flavor, part of the coloring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I save these for my cooking. And then you put in some water, guys. And then you mix. I'd say about a half a cup of, um, you know, water, you know. Give it a taste, guys. Bingo. Enough salt. And it's got a hint of sweetness in it as well. Okay. Time to check my chicken. Yeah, it looks nice. You know the, the pieces that's chopped up? I got the leg part, you know? Because it's good that they do the leg part now, eh? Mm. Because when the fires first came out, you know, the five fillets, it was like, woo -hoo! And now they do the legs, so even better. Anyway, this is almost cooked, and then I'll empty it out, and then um, I'll just give it a fry up, and this. So I've got out the, um, the chicken, now I'm just going to um, wait for a little bit till it dries out. And I'm going to add a little bit of oil guys because you know, you make it So I'm just going to put a little bit of oil in guys because I'm going to um, throw in the, the onion. This is an easy, easy meal to make, you know, for your family. I might be making a little amount because I'm thinking this will be just a right amount for me and my mom to have our lunch. Okay, I'm going to fry and chuck in the onions now. And let it fry. I've got an 
cut and then it's way easier to toss uh, food. I've never used them in um, in a hot element kind of thing, so I don't know if it'll melt for me. I hope not. So what I want to do, I just want to like kind of brown up the onion because when you brown it up, it just has a nice flavour. You know, all the flavour will come out. Guys, the chicken is looking nice and brown. See how nice and uh, brown the chicken's gone? Mm-hmm. Here you go. So I'm going to add in my cabbage. And then add in the sauce because remember the cabbage is you know already done its job cook down and then you hold the handle and you toss it I think I gave you a lot of special <laughs> Now, who wants beef? Mm. Yeah, you just toss it, guys. Because the cabbage is already cooked the way you want it. So, we're just uh, cooking the corn flour. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it will become saucy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like to make my sauce in a little bowl before tossing it into anything. It is all ready, guys. All cooked, ready to be served. Yeah, turn it off. And it's as easy as pie. And here you have it, guys. All ready. Look. This is one easy cooking you can do for your family, guys. So simple and so tasty. Enjoy. And thank you for coming to watch. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so so you can see more of my cooking. Uh-huh. Vaso Fort, take care and thank you for joining me. God bless. Well, I'm going to give you guys a kiss.